Good morning. So we are at Narada Falls again and we took a little hour nap in the camper. It was awesome. We were the first car to pull in here this morning at 7 a.m. So you know what? Let's go look at this viewpoint this time. So I'm hoping the snow at the level we're walking isn't too bad. Oh wow. So we gotta walk down there to get to our trail. The waterfall. That gives you an idea of how far down it is. It's a long ways. Should be fun though. The high today is only 75. We were trying to find the cool weather because it's still 80s in a lot of places. Uh, we are back to the front of the waterfall. Looks like last week. Except we're not getting as much mist today and it's it's not cloudy. Let me try and go down here. There is a little mist down farther here from the waterfall. I wonder if it always generates this mist. See how wet it is. Oh yeah, you can feel the cold air. It's like Niagara Falls, I guess. I love this waterfall. All right. On to the Wonderland Trail. It's two tenths of a mile from the parking lot. And we start going up once we get to it. But I will stop this till we get to the junction. All right, Wonderland Trail. So Reflection Lake is 1.5 miles and Maple Creek Camp is 5.9. I thought about going, there's a washout on the trail. We might go as far as the washout and then turn around. We're trying to only do 10 miles today. So if we need more miles, we'll walk around the lakes up here by Reflection Lake. Oh, I can't believe it. We found snow. It is July 10th. And we are near Reflection Lakes in Mount Rainier. Our first patch of snow today. Should be more. We gotta cross the road now. We snowshoed this in the winter a few years ago. All right. Reflection Lake, point three, Fox Canyon, seven miles. I want to get on the trail there at some point and hike from there. It's warm with the bug hat But, should be at the lake soon. So here's the Junction Trail. It's called the Lakes Trail. Lakes High Trail, four tenths of a mile. Narada Falls Trail, nine tenths. And Paradise is one and a half miles if you go that way. That's the trail we snowshoed down. But we are gonna keep going toward Maple Creek Camp. 
that's in 4.7 miles um, this way and I see more snow I gotta go get some video of it oh, that's cool it's always cool to see snow when it's this warm Explains all the mosquitoes. They love the water. There it is, Reflection Lakes, our lake. And look at all the mosquitoes. Hopefully the camera's picking them up. So last time I was here would have been when we snowshoed and this was frozen and covered in snow. It's pretty neat. Creek outflow. Ah, oh, that's clear. Oh, let's get over here. Ah, oh, they don't let you go over there because they have it roped off. Shoot. Oh, there's Matt Rainier. Wow, there is a lot of snow on it still. All right. Oh, I think the sun is going to ruin this shot. We will get some more video on the other side of the lake. Oh, the views just keep getting better. So that's too bad they roped off. You can't even go down to the lake anymore. And there's more snow. So I guess a week ago, a week and a half ago, there was just way more snow even here. It's been melting. Pretty hard. Ooh, it's muddy here. Oh, that is so neat. Jeez. Never gets old. Well, that's a good shot. The sun's not ruining it. Nothing but birds and bees and mosquitoes. And the mountain. Oh, you can see the reflection in the lake. The top part, that's pretty cool. All right, better get moving. We're going that way. We're headed towards Stevens Canyon. And I think there's a waterfall. I'm not sure if we'll make it to it today though. All right, here's a really good reflection of Mount Rainier in the water. And there it is in real life. And there it is reflected. <laughs> I like the reflection, that's really neat. Wow. All right, I'm trying to get this stream with Mount Rainier in the background. Oh, here's another parking lot. All right, we are following the road parking lot for two tenths of a mile. This lake.
Yeah, this is probably one of the best views of the mountain in the park. <laughs> so this is the lake to the east of Reflections Lake, Reflection Lake, and I don't remember the name of it. Um, but there's a parking lot up ahead in the road and you can hike to that peak covered in snow if I remember right. And I think we cross the road soon and hike. We're basically going down the canyon straight to the east. That's pretty neat though. So we just passed a junction where you can hike to Paradise 3.3 miles and make a big loop. Um, we'll probably save that for another time. Here's a pretty big creek. We're on a bridge crossing. Some more snow. Yeah, that water would be good to drink. so weird seeing the snow. Alright. The bridge we came across. Middle of July. It just always blows my mind that there's still snow. Because we're not terribly high right here. Maybe 3,500, 4,000 feet is it. All right, so it's Lewis or Lois Lake. We're going to check that on the way back. Yeah, the mosquitoes are just horrible today. Worst of the year so far. Oh, there's the lake. All right, so we have went 3.2 miles from Narada Falls on the Wonderland Trail. So we're about, what would that be, one and a half miles east of Reflection Lakes. And the trail just goes down relentlessly and it's hot. Um, and we don't know how far the washout is. So we're going to head back up, try and find the cooler weather. We're going to head toward Paradise, actually, on the Skyline Trail and gain some elevation and hopefully get out of this heat because up at paradise the high today is only 72. i feel like we're 80 already way down here and we don't really have any views either but we're gonna go find the magic again so i will see you in a bit all right this is lewis or louise lake and you cannot see Mount Rainier from here. So the road, like you would think it, or do you think the trail would just go up over that little saddle? But I'm pretty sure it goes up over the higher saddle. And I was hoping you could see Mount Rainier, but we're being blocked. So we're gonna head back closer to the lake shore so I can get some video. There's a little log we had to walk across. But the water looks awesome. I mean, so clear. Yeah, it's always fun going to mountain lakes. I wish I need to start bringing my sandals. I, we need to get some decent water shoes. Because it would be fun to walk in there. Wear shorts. And that is awesome. This would be a great place to bring a little inflatable boat. It's an easy hike from the road. Oh, that would be fun, a little raft. Pretty neat. 
It's too bad they don't have a trail around the lake. And it says it's very fragile. Yeah. All right, we better get moving. All right, she is brave. She's getting in the water. How does it feel? Refreshing. <laughs> She's gonna go up to her knees at least, I think. Can you get deep? Can you go deeper? <laughs> can you walk in the shallows so I can get some movement? <laughs> this is an action video. <laughs> All right, I got a nice background there, the snowy mountains. <laughs> so it does feel really good. I almost said something and I did not, luckily. But I will, t I will tell my secret when I turn the video off. <laughs> All right, we are on the High Lakes Trail, or headed toward it. I'm not sure. I didn't know how to interpret the sign. But in seven tenths of a mile, we have to decide if we want to go to the Skyline Trail in Paradise or back to the falls. So we'll see how we feel. We've went 4.4 miles. We're trying to hike every day this week, weekend. Extended weekend, I should say. So we're trying to do a shorter hike today, maybe eight to 10 miles. So we can have the strength to hike again right away tomorrow and not take a day off. So far this year, we have not hiked two days in a row ever, I don't think. It's hard to. Just wears you out on these trails. We're getting old too though, I should say. We're not young spring chickens anymore. <laughs> We see these 20, 30 year olds, we're like, wow, how are they so fast? All right. Ah, I get back in the shade. That was really hot on that part of the Wonderland Trail we just got off. Ah, just came around the corner to this. I wonder if we're crossing this creek. We are. All right, so I better put this away. And we're going that way and then that way. All right, I had to stop in the middle. I love creeks like this. So it's going under the rocks at this point, right on, and you can't even see it. That's really neat when it does that. Oh, feels good in the shade. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I have my bug hat on talking through the mesh. This could be the coolest viewpoint in the park that I've been to. So we're looking at Reflection Lake. And this is Luis Lake that we were just down at. And it's a pretty much a drop off. So standing behind these rocks. <laughs> Oh, that is neat. And then all those cars down there, there's a trail, and I don't know the name of it. But we basically turned around somewhere in that mess where the road has all the switchbacks. And 
ultimately you're hiking way down there by the river. It's a long way down. That is an awesome view though. Wow. That's about as close as I want to get to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is neat. All right. Oh, you're so tempted to stand right here, but it's literally a drop off there, so I will not. <laughs> I got you, the mountain, and the lake in the video. And <laughs> uh, this is cool. We hit snow. Look at all that snow. And I don't even think Paradise is higher yet. So there's still a lot of snow on the Paradise trails. I mean, look at all that snow. Tree well. And I see our junction. Oh, that was fun. All right. Oh my gosh. We might eat right here. Cause look at that view. I mean, it's not amazing, but I'm not sure we'll get a better one. So, Paradise is 2.5 miles. Oh, that's far away rock, that awesome viewpoint. So in 1.2 miles, rejoins the lake trail going that way. All right, so we need to decide what we're gonna eat. Get back to you. This would have been a good spot to eat. There's a log there we could have sat on. I mean, look at that view. Amazing. That log right there. Oh, it feels nice and cool here too. But we are on the High Lakes Trail and headed toward Ruby Falls ultimately and then back to the Narada Falls parking lot. I think when we were here, was it a week or two ago? Um, I don't even know if you could have hiked these trails yet because of all the snow still. The ranger we talked to, though, he definitely said it melts fast once it warms up. And he wasn't kidding. So we're at like 5,200 feet in elevation. You get up to 6,000 feet and it's probably, there's probably a, I wonder if it covers the entire trail at that point. You know, basically another thousand feet up. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, it's just weird seeing the snow in July though. I think I hear a waterfall or a crossing. We're gonna cross a creek again. All right, so I'm standing in the middle of the creek. I went down that, I sat down, and then I see there's a trail actually right there. So she's doing it the right way. I did it the hard way. <laughs> but, I'm just gonna get across this little bit. Shouldn't it be bad? Trail's over there. Trying to walk across these rocks. Yeah, there's a lot of snow still. Let's see if I can walk on this and film. It's pretty soft, so it doesn't seem that slippery. You kind of sink.
Oh, we should be done going up soon. This might be the top. We can only hope. Yeah, this turned out to be a really fun little trail. Ah, came around a corner to that and a nice breeze. Right. I better stop this. I don't want to slide. Yay! Another snow crossing. I call them snow crossing because it's July. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Don't have my sunglasses. This one is really slushy. Lots of snow to walk in now. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Focus GoPro, focus on the mountain. All right, we better get to that. The views just keep getting better. So we're only one mile from paradise, the um, sign said, but we're gonna we have half mile to the road, then we're gonna go to a trailhead to a Ruby Falls and then straight south. Yeah, that's... Never gets old. I wish I knew where Camp Muir was, where the climbers go. Because you could probably see it from here, I would think. If a person knew where to look. All right, the trail is a lot wider now. Still has some snow. So check out the mountain lilies. Really neat. This whole hillside is full of them. Yeah, I really like them. Can't get over how many are here. Thousands of them probably. Just goes up the entire hillside. All right, that could be the last of our snow, maybe, or most of it at least. All right, I just every time I get a good view, I have to get video of it. But there is the road, so we got to walk up the road just a tad so i gotta make sure we go the right direction yeah we did snowshoe up this i think because the road curved and um we quit following it i vaguely remember that so we parked at paradise and the road is closed from that point so you basically snowshoe on the road to get to this trail and then you snowshoe on the trail So this road going down goes to Reflection Lakes. Which is where we were headed when we snowshoed. So we gotta go on the road for a little, it's like a couple tenths of a mile. I wanna make sure there's not a trail over here. Oh, that is neat. Oh, there might be a trail. Nice.
Narada Falls Trail, two tenths of a mile. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is a neat viewpoint of the river. I think this is the Narada Falls River. Wow, can't quite see that drop over there. Pretty neat though. I'm gonna head back to the trail. So somebody put a log here to keep people from looking there. I don't understand why. And we still have a little bit of snow. Oh, we're going to follow this. We're going to cross it eventually, I think. Very shortly. And we're going to see Ruby Falls soon. Ah, here we go. Here's the bridge. Wow, no handrails again. Oh, that is awesome. Jeez. You don't see that from the road. Yeah, this was a really fun hike, it turned out. Lots of waterfalls, rivers, lakes, snow, views of Mount Rainier, had it all. There's a little rickety bridge. Wow, so we got to the junction and it's six tenths of a mile to paradise and we did this trail once it is steep it's a lot of up but we are going to narada falls eight tenths of a mile we oh i want to say we hiked there from narada falls so um yeah it is really steep if you do that that's a long 1.4 miles straight up but we should be back in 25 minutes or so now that looks like it'd be fun to play on when the water level goes down because i wouldn't want to get washed into that middle part like that little pool looks fun it looks refreshing You had to cross the bridge to get to the trail. I thought it was odd there was no sign. So we're six tenths of a mile from Narada Falls. And this is Ruby Falls we're gonna see. And I don't think I've ever seen it before. Drive by it all the time. And we never stop.
Oh, there's a better viewpoint farther down. All right, here's Ruby Falls, and it is nice and cool here. We're getting the breeze from the cold water. Wow, I can't believe I've never seen this before. We've driven over it a hundred times in my life. Or maybe not a hundred, but at least thirty. That is neat. This could be one of the most scenic stretches of hiking trails in the park. I mean, you're just following this. I mean, look at that. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like seven or eight drops that we can see. That is neat. But we are getting really close to our destination. And we accomplished our goal of not um, overdoing it today because we really want to hike tomorrow. I think we're going to be able to. Uh, we made it back. It's the comfort station. And when we snowshoed, we went up this road and somehow connected with everything. But I think we did eight miles in about 1,200, maybe 1,500 feet elevation gain. I will put it in the description. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.